All of the furniture in this room was purchased secondhand except for this mattress. Let me take you on the journey of where we started though. At the time, we didn't know anything about interior design. We didn't know what we were looking for. Whenever we saw something that we thought looked nice and was really affordable secondhand, we just bought it without really having a plan. Ended up finding this Zionist bed frame at the ReStore Habitat for Humanity for about 40 or $50. We got this rug secondhand it was hardly used if at all used when i got it for 400 dollars including delivery it's a wool rug from crate and barrel that rug was the anchor point painted this accent wall four years ago in this dark blue i didn't know a lot about interior design but i knew that going for neutral colored things was pretty safe this rug is an example of that I had this rug for about five years it has been something that we've kept at an estate sale we ended up finding these nightstands we got these nightstands for 85 dollars for the pair they weren't perfect, but at the time I knew that this was solid wood. It was cheaper than anything that we saw retail. This room has been just like our other rooms, a very iterative process, getting something, seeing if it works that didn't work out. We sold, got our money back and ended up finding something that worked better in this space. So it's been a many year long process of trial and error and iterating and seeing what works and what we like seeing how much room we have in front of the bed, I thought that having a bench or some sort of seating was something that I always wanted to have. And for the longest time, I wanted the Celine West Elm bench. And that's something that I looked for secondhand for many years and I could never find in that pretty blush velvet color. I, was, I saw this bigger ottoman at one point and I was like, well, it's not that blush color that I wanted, but it's pretty big and it's in a similar color palette as this. Could work in a tone on tone way. We put it in the space and it was massive. That was a piece that we knew early on that we wouldn't want to keep. It was something that I sold and got my money back pretty quickly without any trouble. I wasn't intentionally seeking out to buy a new bed frame. The one we had worked great and I thought it looked cute and fine. When I was scrolling through either Craigslist or Nextdoor, I saw this bed frame and I thought it was so beautiful. It's a Pottery Barn upholstered bed frame. It was listed for $400. They said it didn't work in their space. The size was too big. I thought it looked like a timeless piece that was higher quality than what we had. So I went for it without really having the intention to replace the bed frame we had before. Believe it or not, this bed frame fit in my Honda CRV. It was a trek to get it to the house. It has been a piece that I'm so happy I was able to find. Look at how pretty it looks. And it was again in a neutral color. I knew it was something that worked well with the rug we already had that I had no intentions on replacing. Let's talk about lighting in this room. The sconces behind me were a more recent purchase. I originally wanted these black metal wall sconces and I wanted those for the longest time. After we got this bed, I was open to other types of sconces. Regularly looking for wall sconces, I could never find the ones that I was looking for and in a budget that worked for me. And then one day, I saw these sconces. I think that they work really well with this more classic looking bed. They're Pottery Barn wall sconces from 2009, I believe. I'll have to double check. They're not new. And I got the pair for $100. They were in great shape. They were well taken care of by the previous owner. It was really important for me to have a plug for them and not be wire because I didn't know if I would like them and I like to change things around. And they have the option to wire them in. I really liked that it was in black so that with the dark blue wall, it's something that could just recede and that we just see the, the lamps. Look at how much smaller this shade is and look at how low to the bed it is. I knew that I wanted something bigger in scale and I knew that I would have really preferred wall sconces because that would give us some more space on our nightstands. I'm so happy with the purchase that we ended up making. And again, just want to emphasize that it took four years of being patient and looking and not settling for other things that I didn't think would work because I had already found something that was the settling piece before eventually what I consider upgrading them to these and something that I know will have for a very long time. So let's take a look at some of the other pieces I still have today. These are dressers that we got at an estate sale for $177.75. We got them about five years ago and we still have them today. We got a lot of our furniture pieces from estate sales earlier on. Something that I learned early on was about the construction and quality of materials. I really tried to look out for solid wood pieces and pieces that weren't really damaged or if they were damaged, 
that they were easier fixes. If you saw my last video, you saw that there was so much missing veneer in the cedar chest that I did a makeover on. A lot of the other pieces, you know, they might have some surface scratching. They were all pieces that with some work I thought could clean up really well. I haven't refinished any of the pieces in here yet until we refinish the floors and the lighting that we will be living with for a longer time. I have held off on redoing these and I actually don't even mind the finish. They have some really nice dovetail drawers. I've previously tried so much seating in this space. I ended up with these, but before that I had tried a pair of West Elm benches. They looked so small and dinky at the foot of the bed. And then I bought that really large ottoman and then that looked really out of place. And then I bought these chairs that cost $800. I was getting so desperate and frustrated with not being able to find what I was looking for that that was probably one of the most impulsive purchases that I've ever made. I ended up liking them in a different space, so you'll see them in our office in the future. What I wanted in here was a nice little sitting area where my husband and I could have our coffee in the morning or when we watch a show to have a place right in front of his big old massive TV that he really likes. Before getting these chairs, I was pretty set that I wanted the West Elm Viv chairs. I had been getting so close to purchasing those new. Except for our two Ikea desks and one shelf, I still have not purchased any furniture new for this house. I ended up finding these room and board chairs. They're the Otis chair, they're still sold today. They were listed for about, I think either a hundred or a hundred and fifty dollars. And I, for the first time, offered more than what things were listed at because they each retail for about a thousand dollars. These are, I think, over 10 years old, but they were again in really good shape. I am so happy with these chairs. Would I have picked something in this color if I was getting it new? No, I really wanted to go for this very nice light and airy. I wanted to paint this blue wall back to the same color as the rest of the room. And I wanted to go for this champagne and neutral colored space, but I couldn't pass these up at $200. I thought that they worked well with the blue wall and that we could have this tone on tone color scheme until I'm able to find the Viv West Elm chairs or something else that I think works better and is in my preferred color palette. These I think have been so great and tie in with what we already had going on. Over time, I've really tried to swap and upgrade pieces that we had previously to something that is classic, timeless, and neutral. For the pieces that don't meet that like this, they're at a price that I feel really confident that I could get my money back. And let me show you the chest. If you watched my video last week, I refinished a cedar chest. I wanted more storage in this room. Our closet is something that we have to tackle in the future. It's currently all open, just a rod and two shelves. We plan to use this chest for our seasonal clothes. I'm so excited with how this chest turned out in terms of the color. I still haven't put our seasonal clothes. I want to really make sure everything is clean before I put it in here for storage to make sure that moths do not get any of it. Suki sleeps next to me. Let me show you how I've styled my nightstand. We always bring a drink, so instead of using coasters, I set this little tray. I have just some water that we just refill in this. I found this really nice tray at the thrift store for, I don't remember, like four bucks. So we have a nice candle. I'm excited to show you another Waterford piece that I have. This is where I just set my, my jewelry at night. I know a lot of you like crystal. I'm so excited that I have you to share this with. So my little crystal ring holder. I think it'll look a lot better once we get rid of some of these gold accents that aren't all the same exact color and aren't solid brass. I'd like to replace this mirror. We've wanted some art for a long time to put there. Eventually I want to update these curtain rods so that they're either the ceiling ones. That's something that I'm looking into. Let me know what type of curtain system you recommend. That's something that has been a challenge for me, especially in this corner. So you can see I did my best <laughs> at the time by just using a little rod and a bigger rod, but they don't meet at the end. So there's a gap. I really, really am a big fan of Pottery Barn curtains. Highly recommend checking out their outlet. In the clearance section, that's where I got these drapes and my grandma hemmed them for me that they work perfectly here. And just so you know, if you ever get them on sale, make sure you ask for the hooks because it really helps with giving you that pleated look at the top. Let me show you how I styled our dresser. I have some fresh roses in here to greet you all with. If you watch the challenge video, you might remember this boss. 
there were two at the thrift store after the challenge video i ended up running back to go get this one for myself let me share the lighting situation so you can get a sense for what we were working with when we first moved into the space so here is the only light we have that is integrated into the ceiling it was important for us to fix the lighting situation here is the room with our hue lights five bulbs and right now the ceiling light is on. The ceiling light, you'll see how little it does. I'm gonna turn it off right now. That's with the ceiling light off. We are actually redoing the electrical soon. For the past few years, Hue light bulbs have been what really allowed us to improve the lighting and to really create different ambiances. So here's, you know, you can change the temperature depending on the bulbs. Let me show you what I taught Suki. Now, if I'm at the bed and I forget to close the door, I can just ask her to do it. Suki, push. Good girl, all the way, all the way. Push, all the way. So again, all the furniture in here is secondhand. It's not what I necessarily would have picked if I had bought everything new, but buying used has allowed me to iterate and upgrade to better pieces with more confidence while rehoming, reselling the things that didn't work out. It's something that has really allowed me to learn, better understand my style, better understand my space, better understand so many of those design principles. There are pieces here that I bought five years ago that I still have today that I plan to have for a lifetime. And there are pieces here that I'm open to reselling, rehoming, and getting something that might work better but I have a lot of the bones and a lot of the things that I think give me the flexibility to change things here and there over time, like this bed, this rug. I think they're both very neutral, very timeless, Our nightstands as well. And then, you know, I could paint this wall color back to a neutral color, change the art, change these chairs, and that won't cost a fortune. I'm excited to share some of the future projects that we have going on for this room. We'll have the integrated can lights with a dimmer. We'll be doing four of those. Let me know if you have any tips that I should think about before we do our updated lighting. The cable management situation behind the dresser was temporary with the strips. We plan to put them behind the wall. Then I will take you along for when we refinish our floors as well at some point in the future. Our bed, I know it's very bare and simple. I like it that way. It just feels like a hotel bed. I'm excited for the closet to look more pared back after we get some things in the cedar chests. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing how I organize our closet for being able to swap out our seasonal clothes in the chest. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you at the next one. Thank you so much for watching.